Okay, now you have your Lazy Susan device constructed. Uh, we have the shells been stained. Uh, it's been clear coated several times. The clear coat's been sanded down smooth. And now we applied the, I just put one coat of clear on this. And you're gonna see it's very smooth now, very slick. And it, it's looking really beautiful with just this one coat of clear. Extremely beautiful, really deep in color and it's nice and smooth the way you want it. Uh, but we just needed that one coat in order to bring out this depth of color because what you want to take into consideration here is any defects on the shell. Since we're doing a fade and one end of the shell is going to be black in this case, we want to put the black, the solid black, at the end that has the most defects. So we're going to go around the shell and it's probably going to be hard to see in this light for you. And I've already went over the shell. And another thing you want to take into consideration is first locate, you want to locate your seam right here. And it's kind of, might be difficult to see, but we have our seam that's going to be on the bottom. You want to go opposite the other end and mark where the top is going to be. Then you can go around to this side since this is the area that's going to show we have our mark right here and you'll just want to start here look for any defects since this is the top and what's going to show the most and I've already went around the shell there's not a whole lot of defects at this end here it looks really really good I'm really pleased with it however on the bottom end we've got a few things going around the shell here you can see our seam and once we go around we have a small blemish right here and that right there is where I put my finger through the clear coat on one of the initial coats of clear and smeared some of the stain off of the shell and that's what you're going to get if you sand through that clear and start getting into the stain you're going to have a big spot like that which is completely unacceptable so anyway, all we have is a small spot on the bottom side. That doesn't bother me. I can identify this drum that it's mine now, should it come up missing. So we're going to go around the bottom of the shell. And there's really no defects to speak of on this side either, except one little spot. We get around here, and we have this right here. And that's completely filled in. It's slick, it's smooth, but for some reason or another, it's like a small burnish in the wood, and I'm not sure if it has wood putty or wood glue in it, but for some reason that did not take the stain. So rather than doing the black at this end, we're going to do the black at this end just to hide that, and then the other end of our shell is going to look nice. So I'm pretty happy with the number of defects on this shell, not hardly any at all. We got this nice piece here, which that's okay, that's just a characteristic of the wood, and it's not on the top. It's going to be off to the side. Here's our top. So we're ready to start spraying some black. Uh, however, before we do that, you want to make sure you center the shell on your rotisserie. And what I mean by that is you want to spin it and you'll see how it's going to waver in and out like this. You do not want that. You want to center it on the Lazy Susan so you don't have much wavering. A little bit is okay, that's fine. But if it goes in and out too much, what happens with your spray gun is you're laying the color on thick, color goes on light. So wherever that shell is moved out this way, closer to the gun, it's going to be darker and apply more color there. You do not want that. So you want to center that on the Lazy Susan so you don't have that action. And another thing that I found to make this spin a little better is to add some rotating mass to it, some weight. So what I've done is I've taken a brake drum rotor and placed in the center. And that gives it some rotating mass. It helps keep it spinning longer so you can get it sprayed. So we'll go ahead and mix some color. I'll get it centered up and we'll do some fade.
For our color, we're going to use DuPont Chroma Premier. This is just a base color, and I just mixed like a 2011 General Motors black. And this is some of the top of the line paint. Uh, you can use what you want. I would recommend a higher brand such as DuPont or any other manufacturers like PPG, Sickens, Axo Noble, etc. Uh, but if you go using spray cans, you're not going to get it even. Uh, you, you possibly could. It's just harder to do, but this is going to give you a smoother fade, a better transition. And when you get out into the faded area of the shell where the black is real light, you're not going to have the, the bigger spots. It's going to be a smoother fade. You're going to have a, a fine mist rather than spots. Uh, this is mixed with a, a, a base coat reducer, and it's mixed one-to-one. -one. Uh, it's really simple, so I'm going to go ahead and mix some up, and we'll get started spraying. Okay, I'll go into a little more paint detail. Uh, when I say we're going to reduce that black, uh, we're reducing it with DuPont Base Maker. I'm using 7160, which is a fast reducer uh, for low temperature, which means this dries quicker. And the reason I'm doing that is just so the black will dry a little faster so we can get trucking right along. Uh, it's not a metallic we're putting on, so we don't need a slow reducer. And we're going to put this black on with a soda jet. This is HVLP NR2000. High quality gun here. But once again, you do not need all this to do this. Uh, Craftsman gun will work. Just mess with your spray pattern before you start spraying the black. Uh, get a good, nice, even pattern. And that will work. Just because I have access to this doesn't mean you can't do it with that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and turn the booth on. I'll go ahead and give it a spin and we'll start spraying. And when we start out, what we want to do is make sure we get the bottom solid black. And we want to fill it up to about, oh, right in here, we want to at least solid black. So we're just going to spray it until we know it's black down there. Then we'll start doing our fade up this way gradually. Giggity giggity, giggity goo. Stick around.